Good afternoon. I am Nupur Jain and I am your trainer for today. Uh, to start with, I'll take a uh, few minutes to introduce about myself. Uh, starting with my education, I've completed my computer engineering from Pune University. Post that, I've worked with Vipro Technologies as a software engineer. I have good two years uh, of experience in the IT industry. But there was this dream in me where I wanted to become a trainer. And that's why I pursued my Train the Trainer certification from British Connections, Pune. Post that, my experience has been a roller coaster ride. Right? Lots of excitement, lots of teachings. I have been a part of trainings to the students, to schools, colleges, corporates, as well as to the startups. So throughout this journey, I have learned wonderful and valuable lessons of life. And today, I will take one topic to share with all of you. So my topic for the day is learning. Thank you. You're welcome. To begin with, I would like to uh, give out this wonderful quote that says, Wisdom comes not from age, but from education and learning. Mm -hmm. So age has no barrier to do with learning. So what do you understand by learning? Learning is nothing but a process which moves from birth to death. I think if you're looking at learning from birth uh, to death, so let's start from birth, it would be being educated. It's education. Okay. So you're literate? Literate, yes. Okay. Do you agree to the fact that you should learn till your last breath? Oh, yes. There's so right. much. So, what do you think are the benefits of learning? Why do you learn every step of your life? You're more knowledgeable? You get more knowledgeable. You can handle situations Yeah, you can handle your own life better because you've learned something about it. Much more mature. You're mature. Aware. Yes. Awareness is very important. You can pass on your learning also. So not repeating the same thing what we have done previously. Yes. So you've learned to improvise, efficient. Yes. You're more happy because you know much more than someone else knows. You're more successful. Mm -hmm. So there are plenty of benefits only of learning. So one should not stop learning. So there are different forms of learning. Informal way as well as a formal way. So when I say informal and formal, what do you understand? Anybody? Any idea? What's the formal way of learning and informal way of learning? Formal. Yes, for a? Perfect. So it's a class. Is it a classroom way of yeah. learning? Trainings, classrooms. Okay. Anybody with informal ways of trainings? Any idea? Informal ways would be like coaching. Internet. Internet, digital world, self learning. Anything else? Mm. Experience. Experience. Experiencing, observing. observing. Yeah. Anything else? Moral value stories. My grandma. Stories. Reading. The reading, yes, stories. Learning from your colleagues, friends. Yes. Again, asking more questions. Another form of learning. Yes, movies. So the TV, movies, media. 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 Yes. This includes newspapers as well. Yes. Okay. So 
two, there are so many ways of learning, informal as well as formal. formal. And this is what all of us follow. The more we use all of these, the more we are, the better we are. Understand? So I have this wonderful life experience about a person who I am currently with and all of you all also admire and want to be one. So she is Mrs. Sulabha Chadwick. So she at her age, she has been mentoring us. We have become trainers just because of her. She is still learning and she wants to do more in her life. That is what all of us do. Yeah. So that is why this is the biggest learning what we get from her. Right. So that is the attitude all of us should keep even at the age of 15 and 16. True? Let's move ahead. I have this uh, nice, can you uh, please turn your pages to page 20. There's a humor, there's an image which you can see. Okay, so there are two people who are speaking. It says, if we learn from our mistakes, shouldn't I try to make as many mistakes as possible? <laughs> so he's asking, if we're learning from our mistakes, should I make more mistakes? So it's a humor which he wants to say just for learning. But is that okay, ma'am? Make more mistakes, so we we'll <laughs> should learn from our mistakes at a very early point. Okay. So, uh, can we have all of you on the floor? I have this wonderful activity for you all. A small learning activity. Face the camera. Okay, I have pages for you. You can have two each. Uh, the activity says, it's a paper activity which says, you have to create a boat, paper boat, which you've done in your title. So I'll give you one minute, you can start. Maybe you can use table. <laughs> We've been learning this since childhood. So let's see how we are making it. So you can take help of the board. There are different ways of learning if you don't know. She's making a helicopter. So I'm waiting for a boat. There are so many methods one can use. Excuses are not really much in the world. We have already spoken about empowerment way of learning. There are other helplines around. It, it says over there, friend, so you could have asked me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to ask questions in the world. Oh, God. <laughs> Firstly, if you make a square, you can make a square. Then you can make a square. Then you can make a square. Let's just put this there. 30 seconds. Then you again fold the square. Like, see, first fold it this way. Yeah. And then again fold it. Then take this corner mm -hmm. and fold it down. Okay. Square would have been better, but still mm -hmm. fold it down. Then take this whole thing and fold it down. Okay. The rest, yeah. Then open it up like this. Put your fingers in and open it up and make it like a patan, like you know, height like this. Okay. Okay. You open it. Simply. Yeah. Oh, press it down. Press the edges. Down. Then turn it this way and then open it up. This way. So if you have a boat, that is how you learn. Please have a say. See this way. This should have been a square paper. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much. You can have a seat. This is an informal way of learning. So just to conclude today's topic, I would like to end with an example. This was a WhatsApp message which I received. It uh -huh. says, to, to, learning is not being illiterate because literate people like us, we throw garbage in the streets. And illiterate people are picking that up. So is that correct way of learning? No. No. Right? So please use it properly. Thank you so much. Yes.